from the YouTube Talk Show. This is Week of David Daily Mueller, and now, hovering through YouTube like a lost spaceship, Ellie Cunning Mueller. Ha! Welcome to a week now update. I am Ellie Kay Mueller. Welcome aboard. Tonight, shout out spotlight winners are Super Sonic Walker King, good friend of mine, cool pal. He's groovy. He's awesome. Check him out. X the Unstoppable JPX. He's pretty cool as well. LT Dark Lord Gaming, another cool YouTuber, and Starfish Central. Thanks for the shout out, man. Really appreciate it. All right, so. Now that everything has been taken care of, let's talk about Carrie Fisher, huh? Carrie Fisher is officially dead. Women probably know that, so why is that news? Well, I'll tell you. Last Christmas, the star... Oh boy. Last Christmas, the star of the original Star Wars movie died in Los Angeles, California. People are still crying about her death, and you folks have the right to do so. In 1977, she played the intelligent and downright sexy Princess Leia in the original Star Wars film. You know, for 15 years, you know, uh, Carrie Fisher played Princess Leia beautifully, and, and she has inspired a lot of females to become actresses as well. Not to mention the fact that she has made the boys ooh and ah. There, that's better. She made her final appearance last year while filming the new Star Wars movie. It will be released on December 5th. I hope that the young boys won't cry throughout the film. Why? Because one tier equals 500 Star Wars films with the new Princess Leia and Queen Piggy. Who will play them? Yes, I know. I know. The producers really need to take auditions more seriously. And here's a question for you folks. Alright? What was the last time that you have watched a film starring Carrie Fisher? The last time that you saw Carrie Fisher in a movie? Comment down below, will you? Now, let's have a little chat with MP and Gregory. Yes, indeed. Carrie Fisher was the star of the original Star Wars film back in 1977. Yes, but Carrie Fisher was also in a lot of other movies, too. Yeah, she was, but let's be honest. None of those films are as popular as Star Wars. Yeah, you're probably right. And again, the Blues Brothers movie from 1980 came at a close second. Close second? Are you kidding me? Well, <laughs> Terry Fisher did have a little role in that movie. Yeah, but it's not as big and as influential as her Princess Leia character in the original Star Wars film. Yeah, you're right. Hey, did you hear that uh, Carrie Fisher made her final theatrical uh, appearance in the new Star Wars movie? You mean the one that's coming up for uh, this Christmas? Yep. Holy cow, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. Too bad she's gone, though. And now, I will. Gary Fisher, you shall be missed. We love your work in the original Star Wars film. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another installment of the 10 out of 10 scale. I may look retarding, but I'm retarded. Anyway, what are we talking about? Legendary actress Carrie Fisher. <laughs> now, Carrie Fisher was a fisher before she became famous. Did you know that? Well, uh, Adam, can I tell you something? Uh huh. Carrie Fisher is a fisher. You know, had a famous 
mother named Debbie Reynolds. Did you know that? Who? And she died the day after Carrie Fisher died. Oh, yeah. I think I remember that. I think I watched a, a, com a, a commercial about that. Yeah. Because Debbie Deborah Debison was an actor. And if we know she was pregnant, she, she was doing those retarded dance dance moves. That's I know. She danced with class. She danced with dignity. I know, and plus but still, she, she would dance all that. That fast mumble jumbo, vibing about, 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 with being pregnant. That's a clear mind. Yeah. But anyway. Now, Carrie Fisher was the original Princess Leia in the original incarnation of Star Wars. You could just say the first Star Wars, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the original the, Star Wars movie, yeah. You couldn't say the first Star Wars movie, but hey, the yeah, original, the OG original. Anyway, back in the OG Star Wars movie, she played... Princess Leia. No, that's, something goes with that. The lead role, I believe, of Princess Leia, right? Exactly, was correct. Wasn't was Leia one, one of the leads? Yeah, you got the Princess Leia... R2-D2? Man, R2-D2 and um, Rob Van Dammer. Yeah! <laughs> no, his name is not Rob Van Dammer. I, I forgot his name. Oh, what for what is his name for real? Say, think about it. Hmm. It's R2-D2. R2-D2, and you got that uh, orange uh, yeah. robot who uh, was next to him. He has a name. But no, we, we, we can't think about it. We have the shittiest memory. But we have Google that oh, oh. C three PO yeah that, that that's what it is. Why was I thinking Rob Van Dam? I I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking Rob Rob Van Dam. Yeah. So yeah, you know what? The original Star Wars movie was incredible. It was epic. It was what is. I would compare it to the first Ghost Ghostbusters. It's, yeah, it's a but, good comparison. But of course, Star Wars came in uh, at least seven or eight years before Ghostbusters. Well, then you know what they say: the older they are, the better the they, they get. Are. The older they are, the better they get. I guess. Yeah. Actually, uh, there's even better saying that goes. Some things get better with age. Actually, no. Well, you, good thing you said something, because they said everything. And I would point out the classic match of WrestleMania 3, I believe. Hulk Hogan versus Under the Giant. Because guess what? They say, oh my god, it's awesome. But, really... It's two, it's two people going like this. Oh! 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 And then somebody took like the other one to the end. Yeah, that's nuts. You know? But uh, Adam, come here. You know, like Carrie Fisher has starred in a lot of uh, other movies as well. Leading up to her theatrical farewell in the latest Star Wars movie. Which will be released on December 15th this very year. Is that true? Yep. Well then. Star Wars 2017. By the way, Disney completely owns it, by the way. Oh yeah, The Last Jedi. Last Jedi, December shut, 15th. Shut, shut, shut up. Look at the date. You can't leak it. You can't leak it. You gotta shut up, mate. You gotta shut up, mate. Anyway, the new Star Wars film that I believe it might be may be coming out later this year. Oh, round 2018. Really? Yeah. And we're after I would have before Christmas. <laughs> before Christmas. <laughs> Woo! Eli, this is before Christmas. Tomorrow is before Christmas. Next month is before Christmas. <laughs> We're talking about two weeks before Christmas, baby. Wait, right now it's Christmas? I was 
that for? Anyway. No, well, it's not that way. Anyway, anyway fishermen get tired and why? Because of Star Wars. Yes. And look me in the face. Look me right in the very eye and tell me you don't like Star Wars. That's right. I'm looking at you. Say it. Say something. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? Uh, it's not just getting facial deserves a, a ten out of ten. Everybody who made the original Star Wars film should be congratulated and condemned for their work. They all deserve 10 out of 10. Especially Darth Vader. Yes. Because one, bad voice. Two, the coolest character. And three, the whole movie, that's Darth Vader. You put that in the stool, and you get the perfect Star Wars movie. But yes. They made a new one that may be better. Alright, but until then, all hell, Star Wars! I, I feel, I feel like geeks, bro. I, I feel, I feel like the eighth level of, of geekness. Hey, who cares? You know, when you watch Star Wars, you're not, uh, the elite. You know, no, you are a regular person. Because everybody who loves Star Wars is a regular person. But what about that fish? It has a poster of Star Wars right on its tape. And it always look, look at it. So, even animals can love Star Wars. Well, that is the show for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you folks tomorrow. That's the news, Nanny Mouskies. Bye, bye, bye.